Well, it was a nice sunny day in Minecraft until about three seconds ago when I knew I had to switch over to go live. Thanks very much for the hype train, folks. Kicking off the stream, we've got Cosmic Dancer gifting a tier one sub to Grandpa Crafter. Mindtrip Media used 100 bits and Scotsman UK resubbed at tier one for 17 months. There is 30 seconds left in that hype train. If you want to jump in, it's 100 bits, a tier one sub, prime sub, or gift sub if you'd like to share the, the love around. But uh, I very much appreciate the support, folks. Always a fun way to kick off the stream. If you're new, my name is Joel Duggan and this is The Citadel. It is a seven-year-old Minecraft server and we are sitting in West Hill, which is a three and a half year old town here on the seven year old server. I find it crazy that this town is now more than half of my time on the server. That's just wild. Dan and Sweet Sandy, hello. Oh boo, good to see you. Blast Jordan, you as well. Sweet Sandy jumping in with a 100 bits just in time to miss the hype train. <laughs> I think it just wasn't enough. I think it was in on time. I just don't think it was enough to push it past the, the level one. That's fine. It's always weird when the hype trains happen when I'm on that starting soon screen because I can't jump in and uh, and chime in. Uh, however, uh, we are going to pick up where we left off. Uh, first, well, I guess we'll just deal with the rain. I was going to sleep, but I can't. It's only, it's only half ten in the Minecraft realm. So, we finished this little cottage on Saturday. And I talked about it on the Spun Chunks on Monday. There is a new video on the Spun Chunks on YouTube. And it is myself and Pixelriffs. Pixelriffs is back, talking about all things Minecraft. I went into detail talking about what I did here. The VODs are all on YouTube for this as well, at Joel Duggan VODs. Uh, but for people that want a quick spin through, we finished the inside added a few little decorations nothing fancy because it's a very small build uh, my favorite i think is the back i really like this view of the back i like the garden and the tools and stuff i think it looks pretty good so we're gonna clean up our mess and then we're gonna move on to something else uh, i don't think i'm ready to tackle this i don't know um if i am maybe i should leave the mess there because then all of our stuff is nearby but maybe we should just figure out what we're gonna do next and then decide where we're moving all this stuff. Um, I don't don't have anything to put away. So some of this stuff we could probably just put back. Thinking of things I'm probably not going to need. Terracotta probably not. Uh, I think we're good for that. What else is here? Carrot box. I don't remember why I brought that out here. Die box we probably don't need. There's a sandbox somewhere. What's that? That's where's my redstone box? That's oh there it is there. I don't know why I had that out. And I know I've got a missing spot, so that's good. That's all organized. Tarasiris, hello, hello. Good to see you. You got a day off work, so you can catch the stream. That's awesome. Um, Where's the book? I guess we should look at the book. So all of this is done. This isn't done. I guess I could just, I could poke at this. This is something we could do immediately and have that finished up. Is it actually going to clear? Am I detecting the sun? Maybe it's just Minecraft lighting playing tricks on me. Uh, main keep we're not doing yet. North gate, tables and chairs, inside top design. I have to wait for 1.21 for that. West Hill Valley. Fields and grasses. Curtain wall field. Extra path to the east. 
And the West Hill River in grass. I guess that's the last thing we have to do. Uh, actually, hold on, folks. I've got to knock at the door. Just give me one second here. Sorry about that, folks. I had a knock at my door. My superintendent was just letting me know that the uh, the window replacement that's happening tomorrow, which is why I'm streaming today, uh, is going to be happening in the morning or starting in the morning. And then, of course, uh, we'll be going the whole day. So there's there was no stream tomorrow. Very, very unlikely that I'll be streaming tomorrow, uh, Wednesday. Uh, at least not at my regular time, not at the... Um, one o'clock time. Now there's a chance either tomorrow, Wednesday, or Thursday, which is is that the first of August? I think it's the first of August, right? Yes. So the thirty first tomorrow or the first of August, I may be able to put in a stream in the evening. Uh I don't know. It it really depends on the condition of the studio, uh whatnot. But I'm getting three windows in the apartment, including the studio window replaced. Uh, because they're leaking and we've got hurricane season coming. So it's good timing. I'm glad that they're finally replacing the windows. Um, but it will be an interruption to my regular stream schedule. I will try to make up the time or fit stuff in where I can, um, but I will keep everyone apprised. Uh, you can do the the, the Twitter thing, uh, at Joel Duggan on Twitter and at Joel Duggan on Instagram. I post Instagram stories when I go live and I post tweets when I go live, as well, of course, in the Discord, if you're already in the Discord. Uh, so West Hill River in grass. That's what this is here, this whole area. So we've got the ho the cabin in there. We can finish this up here. And I think I didn't finish the, the bush here. I think we need to... Yeah, I think I wanted to bring this down over the side. So that'll be an easy start to the day. We'll We'll get in some grass and bushes and fill that in. I don't know what to do here. If anybody has any ideas, let me know. I'm still on the fence if I'm keeping this tree. I mean, it's not going to stay like that. That is an ugly placeholder, but, you know, obviously this is a much nicer looking tree. I just find that they look very similar, so I don't know if I like having another similar tree right there. I feel like, I don't know, it just, they feel very evenly spaced. They look like they're going to be similar shapes and sizes, so maybe I'll skip that. Maybe I'll tear it down for now. Uh, however, we do have all of the grass and the stuff here that I need, so we might as well just get in here. Am I low on azalea stuff? It looks like I might be. Oh no, we're good. Okay. And 
carpet. Sweet Sandy, thanks for the social Scotsman. A uh, little wagon market stall trying to get some passing trade in space. I don't want it to be distracting though. Like I want it to just be a natural space. If that makes sense. Fallen tree or tree stump. Yeah, we did a tree stump just down, down the bottom here. So there's a tree stump down here already. Not that there can't be two. But something like that might be okay. Um... I, I like I feel like I want to put a tree right here, but then I feel like that'll block the view of everything that's happening. Although if it's if it's like there, it wouldn't be so bad. I don't know. We'll have to see. Why don't you know what? We can let the Minecraft gods decide. Let's just grab a sapling. Do I have I do. Just a curiosity. If I was to put another tree there, I'd say right about here. Maybe a little bit farther back. It'll hide that ugly hill. <laughs> It's a fun trick with trees. If you make them a little bit taller, you can have some fun with the trunks later on. Let's just leave that and see what happens. That might inform what I do want or what I don't want. I don't know. In the meantime, though, this should be pretty easy to fix up. So a lot of this is already textured. What we don't have in through here you know, I think for the sake of this standing out like a sore thumb, I'm going to remove these. And then we don't have a lot of stuff up here. Maybe we can just... Fill in a few things. Nothing too crazy, just want to fill in the space and have it start to look like the bushes get more dense as we continue through here. Getting closer to the hill. That was better with grass. Yeah, that's okay. This color is, is weirdly not matching the way that I thought it was going to. Gappy the guy, doing well today. Thanks very much. I love coffee. Okay, let's see. Down here, I don't want to do more bushes. I feel like we should just do... Maybe we can get away with a couple little sunken spots. I could probably put a small rock in here.
So maybe somewhere like here. Hmm. Sort of looks like that stuff behind it. Maybe we need to move it over here a little bit. That feels very center though. Let's try that. Uh, I don't mind that. Yeah, I think that's okay. I think maybe we'll put grass here too. Spice up the side a little bit. I think that's okay. And I don't want to put necessarily another bush, but we could probably do a couple of these little dropped azalea things here. Sometimes these look a little bit more dramatic when you put some moss carpet near them. that's pretty good I might want to toss in a fern or two instead of grass along here just to kind of add some variety
There. That should be it. I'm trying not to make too much extra work for myself. We do also have the azalea saplings that we can drop in here and there. They are quite bright though. Oops. I think that's about right. Does the trick. Does the trick. Uh, I try not to get grass too close to the path, but I feel like there needs to be something maybe there. I really wish we had more variety in the grass. The area really starting to come to life when you walked to the bed, the house in the back with the chimney uh, smoke coming from it was really cool. This one or the other one? Or this one. <laughs> uh, button pebble. The first one. This one here. Yeah. On the grass. Oh, you could put like a button pebble here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I could do that too, actually. I could, I could, I could. Actually, we need, we need more mossy cobble. Uh, buttons are over here. I think there's a bit of a delay, Sandy. Through the air, across the ocean, all that stuff. It's a little similar to that one. Maybe we'll just change the direction. I really wish we could put grass on things like mossy cobble. I think it would look really good. Just curious if this is going to work here. Nope. No, sometimes you got to try it to know that you're not going to like it. Maybe I'll move that back by one. Have it like nestled in amongst the grass. Sure. All right. I think that's it for that side. Sometimes it's just distracting. Okay, I think we're good. This feels like it gets a little bit low. Maybe we could add a couple more bits there.
Okay. So now we have to think about this other side. Tree grew. Ta-da. And see how we got like a little extra height out of that because I placed it two or three blocks above the ground. So the Minecraft RNG has suggested that. I mean, we're going to change it, but I don't hate it. I think I might want a little bit lower. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, Sandy. It does kind of go nicely between the roofs. I think I kind of want to lower it a little bit and shift it a little bit to the right. Like it's so close there, you kind of want it to overlap. Let's grab some uh, oak blocks, oak leaf blocks. Jay Chris, good to see you. Hello, hello. Oh, we're really low on oak leaves. That's a surprise. Normally I have lots of those. Ah, uh, scaffolding. I think we're done with the buttons. So yeah, I think we can maybe manipulate this a little bit, kind of shift the axis of it. Rather than going up into one big ball, I think I'd like to make it into two big balls on the top of the leaves. Uh, I want these. Planks. Fence gates. Stairs. So first thing, I'm going to take the whole thing and just add a layer to it this way. Yeah, that could even be lower. I'll try one more layer. It, ju it just rained. It just rained. Why is it raining again, Minecraft? Why is it raining again? Yeah, I think I need to shift the whole thing down. Yep, and then I'll shave a bit off the top.
And then get rid of these. See what that looks like. That's a little bit better. Whoops. I think that's okay. And then we can maybe get up on top of here and create that second shape. Oh, that does not look good. All right, let's go the other way with it. Whoops. good there. I think down here we could maybe do a little tree branch like this. You know, I don't mind that that back part is kind of square. Although that does look better. Hold on. Let's try to get this a little bit more full. Yeah, I thought I was going to like the vines, but maybe I don't. Aldabar, welcome in. Good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, I was today years old when I learned that if you put a tree too close to glass, the tree grows through the glass. Wow, really, Flux? I didn't know that. I guess technically it's a transparent block. That makes sense. 
I would be very happy for this game to stop raining. Oh my gosh. What a miserable way to try and um, design something in the gray and the gloom. I am pretty happy with that. It's a little square on the front here. Don't know how to exactly fix that. Sometimes you think you want to take away, but maybe the solution is actually adding. Never be afraid to put stuff on angles when you're doing the trees. It usually is quite helpful. And what else did I see when I was flying around? It's kind of pointy. Very flat on the front. that or maybe I'll lower those a little bit oh no that looks awful immediately no Very hard to make a tree look not square in Minecraft when you are dealing with mostly squares. Square blocks kind of square up. Yep, they do. One of the things I always had trouble with when doing pixel art. I think that's pretty good. It kind of covers up our gate, but... So right now there really is more of a reason to have the bushes come over this way. So I really want to make sure that we have a lot of this stuff uh, changed. make some of this jungle as well. See if that helps right off the bat.
yeah, I think we'll clear the see a clear line. I guess it's a little bit um the texture of the tree is a little bit the same. I wonder I don't want to make it azalea because that would that would be really cool, but uh, not azalea, acacia, but it would match the match the house a little bit too much. We could switch it out for mangrove, maybe. I just don't know if mangrove is gonna go with the um the wood that well the spruce wood that would be my only concern here's one of those funky woods yeah it doesn't really go We could try stripped spruce, maybe. That might look okay. It's at least different than what's behind it. I'll take it. I think we can roll with that. And then to put some roots on it, probably something like this. Yeah, and then we can maybe even drop in a bush. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Now, uh, I want to change some of these because underneath the trees, we've been changing the dirt a little bit and it's really been effective. There's where we want the mangrove, the rooted dirt, and some soul soil. Oh, thanks, Sweet Sandy. So, rooted dirt, I don't need those anymore. Mangrove soul soil and I've got coarse dirt Might want to go with something a little bit better. Whoop, that was a big, big shovel dig. Uh, let's go that instead. And maybe, because we can grow grass on top of dirt, we'll do this. Just to kind of rough up the area underneath there a little bit. We could probably do the same thing over here. Can I plant those? Oh, sweet.
kind of want a little bit more dirt on this side. Maybe we'll do coarse dirt there. And maybe this is where we'll put the soul soil or the mangrove, maybe the mangrove. Got to try out what you can plant on mud. Seems to be a lot of things. Yeah, I, I, you could put flowers on mud too if you wanted to make them really stand out. I think that could be really useful. I think that looks pretty good. I find though if you take these little chunks of ideas and put them together, you can usually come up with a good way to fill in these spaces. There is something really relaxing about landscaping too. Like I, I find that I could probably do this for a while. I don't want to start creeping down the hill because I want to put that path in. So I'll leave that for now. Seems to be doing okay without the too much grass going on. Sure. Landscaping this game scale is one more of the enjoyable parts of the game. Yeah, I yeah. It's the kind of thing where like I have to remind myself that one of the reasons I do this is because I like it. Because I look at it like, oh, I'm creating so much work for myself and it's pushing the end, you know, farther down the line. But at the same time, it's like, just what's, what's the rush? Why am I in a rush? I'm not in a rush. <laughs> there is no rush. So why does it matter, you know? Do I have any of the darker? I do. I wonder if this would look good in here. The answer is no. I could try some wool, maybe. But I find wool tends to look more like mossy as opposed to... Yeah. That's fine. This is the third time in less than an hour of stream that it's been raining. 
So you know what? I'm OP on the server. I'm just not in the mood. I am just not in the mood. That is a data pack I should really look into is straight up less rain. I feel like that's going to be a thing. It's the first time you've ever seen me use codes on stream. Well, I'm just, I'm trying to do color work and it's just, it's raining far more often than I feel it should. I think it started with 1.18. Okay, I think we're good there. I'm pretty happy with that. I think that worked out well. I do like the falling leaves mod. Very, very subtle. So I think we can get rid of this. I don't think this is going to stay. I'll do one more double check here from the view. But I'm pretty sure. It does feel a little flat on the bottom. I can maybe add a little bit more on the left hand side. I mean, it might be just as simple as doing the one, the one block. Or go in diagonal like that, maybe. It's a little bit better. That's good. Stream is at one hour break time. Thanks very much, Sandy. Appreciate it. I might be able to go a little bit longer today, too. I'm going to see Deadpool and Wolverine tonight with Stephen ESC, who, of course, streams here on the Citadel. Uh, you can find him at Stephen ESC on Twitch and is also uh, one of the co-hosts of the Citadel Cafe with me. And we are going to, of course, talk about Deadpool and Wolverine the next time we do the podcast uh yeah i think this little tree is gonna go well we spend an hour and I've taken this empty grass area and reduced it by one third. <laughs> it's still, it's still not what I wanted to have here. So I think we'll have to figure out a little bit more. Uh, 
I think we're just going to have to put a couple of bushes or something in there and just deal with it. Maybe we can sink some of those azalea things in here. Maybe we'll work around that a little bit. So hard with so many similar colors around. Uh, carpet. Go. Sure. Anyway, I take a break once an hour, folks. Gives me a chance to reheat the coffee, grab another glass of water, refresh my brain a little bit, kind of etch a sketch, give it a little shake, see if I can come up with some better ideas. I, uh, I feel like we'll probably be able to get this little green spot down, which is good because then I feel like we can check off the, the item in the list, which is always a good feeling. I'd like to at least check something off today, that's for sure. Anyway, I'll be back in about five or six minutes. 